Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk to you about this new Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. It's from their most recent collection. Uh, there are three eyeshadow palettes uh, in this uh, in this collection. The Nude Light, Nude Medium and Nude Rich I think it is. And I'm gonna put up a picture right here so you can see better all the all the shadows. And well, let's get into it. This is what it looks like. Well, right here. I don't know how am I gonna show it to you, but it looks like this. Like right here. As you can see, it's a pretty light neutral eyeshadow palette. I love the shimmers so 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 much. The mattes, I don't know. The mattes are Kind of a big mess for me at least I don't know if any of you have this problem but I can't seem to get them to work as lovely <laughs> as I would have wanted them to they're pretty dry and annoying to work with I don't know, this is my second eyeshadow palette, uh, this is my first, this was my first purchase, which I think it's pretty much, like, this is not the first purchase you do, you make from a brand, but this was my first purchase from Huda Beauty, because I just love the Neon Obsession uh, collection that she came out with this, uh, this past summer, and I got this one, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with it, I'm not, like, over the moon in love with it but it's it's a good eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, well I forget I keep forgetting I'm gonna show you actually I'm gonna show you the shimmers and which shimmer I thought uh, looked similar to the new collection and uh, yeah well I'm gonna I'm gonna start by swatching with swatching this one um, I actually, I don't know, this dusty pink right here is pretty great. I love this eyeshadow right here. Like this is probably the uh, one of the main reasons that I got this palette because it's, it's amazing and I have no words like it's an amazing color. It shows up beautifully on the eyes. I love this. And um, I don't know if this is like nude. It's pretty much like a pink eyeshadow palette. I don't see it as a nude eyeshadow palette because it's, pretty, it's not nude. It's weird that they called it that because it's just not nude. Uh, and uh, I think it's um, it's similar to the new nude. Uh, eyeshadow palette that from Huda Beauty as well, the big one. I don't uh, have the big one, but I thought of purchasing that. But after this, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna buy that because even if I wanted something more, I have this, so I have everything I might need. So I'm just not gonna get that. But uh, yeah, these are. These are my opinions. I I just won't get that because I'm not so much into shades like this. Like I got um, I got this one because I had basically nothing else in my collection that was similar to this. And uh, well, one of the main reasons that I got why I got this uh, this eyeshadow palette. And well, I still have a finger. Uh, I actually really do love the brown in this. I think this performs the best. Well, I'm gonna show you the the swatches up close and uh, you can see for yourself. Obviously, the swatches are not telling that much if you're looking just by swatching the palette, but well, if it's gonna focus. Sorry, it's focusing right there. The mattes, well, it's not focusing, sorry. The mattes look pretty good, 
but when you when you start to blend them they almost disappear almost like I think which one I think this one well I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you like this uh, this one well this one completely disappears uh, I think this one and this one kind of a um, hard time like they're pretty pretty bad at blending like I want smoother better mats than what this has to offer but it was cheap it was not cheap it was on, a che on the cheaper side but I think for this amount of money you could get something a little bit better I don't know I I'm not uh, I'm not using Huda Beauty like all the time but uh, yeah this is what I thought and uh, well I'm gonna show it to you show, show it to you like uh, this eyeshadow palette and this one looks like this and I thought because well I'm gonna open both of them up so you can see better I thought that well some of these are well right here some of these like this well like this I thought that this one was similar well you can see for yourselves this one the green one and the new one this is what they look like but actually these are more of a topper this one is pretty similar and this one this one as well if you ask me pretty pretty similar like pretty similar well you can see better this way these are pretty similar like right here I don't know what to say but uh, when I first got them, like I've got this actually, um, I wanted to see if uh, these are a little bit different, and they are. They are more of a topper. They don't really have any pigment in them, like this one right here, and this one. They don't really have any any pigment in them, like actual toppers. <laughs> And they look something like this, as you can see, nothing similar to what this looks like. As I said, I love this shadow right here. This is my favorite shadow of, like, from the whole palette. I love this right here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't think this is a palette, like, an eyeshadow palette that you need in your collection if you want to get it okay if you don't it's not a must-have like oh my god it's the end of the earth like I gotta have this it's nice it's okay it's a it's pretty pricey it's not that good for the price point but you can have fun and if you're really pale because uh, on my skin tone like two of these shades don't even show up like the this well this one right here and this one they almost completely vanish it's just not a good time <laughs> and I hate that I think I well I don't know. Well, I think the rich eyeshadow palette, richer, rich, I don't know. The rich eyeshadow palette might have been better for my skin tone. Well, the medium and the rich eyeshadow palettes uh, might have been better for my skin tone. But I like this one because, like I said, I have nothing similar to this eyeshadow palette in my collection. Like, not, not even close. And I wanted this one. Like, I swatched it in the store. And I had a 10% uh, sale, well, not a sale, like coupon code, uh, and I got it 10% ten, ten ten, well, I can't speak, 10% off. So, uh, 
it was a good deal I don't know <laughs> you're not losing anything if you don't get this like if you want it cool go get it it's a good eyeshadow palette it's not the best it's okay I don't know they're pretty dry I'm I, I'm having a hard time with the Huda Beauty formula I, I don't know this is my second eyeshadow palette maybe her minis are a little bit like not the same quality I don't know but this is what it feels like the mattes are really dry like I think they're the driest formula I've tried and I have about 14 15 eyeshadow palettes you can check them out like below I'm gonna link the collection if you want to watch that uh, but yeah I have like 14 eyeshadow palettes and none of them have that this dry of a formula I don't know why I don't know maybe the minis are a different formula I don't know well I got glitter all over this well I love the packaging I love the packaging the first time well I think it was on trend mood that I where I saw these uh, eyeshadow palettes um, the first time I was like oh my god yes I want to get all of them I wanted to get at least one so I got at least one <laughs> um, but uh, yeah the packaging is really smooth it's like I think it's plastic but it feels like faux leather it, it's nice it's nice to the touch I like the packaging it feels uh, sturdy it doesn't feel cheap at all like uh, the packaging 10 out of 10 like these look amazing well you can see my camera right there uh, these look amazing in my opinion the packaging she's done an amazing job with the packaging the formula I don't like the matte formula the shimmers I love them you can uh, you can use them with um, with a stickier primer I actually only have on paint pot right now and it turned out pretty pretty great like the look turned out pretty great in my opinion um, but yeah if you want if you want to have like the full effect you might want to use a stickier primer because these have a lot of fallout I'm not gonna lie they have a lot of fallout kickback as well so I don't know make of that what you will if you want to get this get this if you don't don't it's your it's your uh, opinion and what do you want to do with your money at the end of the day uh, and yeah this was uh, this is my review I hope you liked it and if you did like like and subscribe and uh, see you next time bye